What's up fellow YouTubers? In this video, I want to share with you the answers to the top 10 most common YouTube questions. This should go without saying, but this video is based on my experiences and my opinions. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. How do I get views? The easy answer is make content. The detailed answer is that you have to make content that others want and need. Focus on putting out quality content as it relates to something of popularity and relevance in your channel's hobby or niche. The more videos you make, the better you will get. Before posting a video, ask yourself, could this be my best video ever? Each time you should say yes, because with every video you should strive to get better. Can I use copyrighted music in my videos, even if it's only for a few seconds? The answer is no. You're not special. You do not have the rights to that video or that music or that uh, you know picture or, or clip or whatever you want to use. So you cannot claim it as your own. Now there are some fair use opportunities, but overall, most of the time, the answer is going to be no. You do not own that. Therefore, you cannot use it in your video. How do I get more subscribers? I always recommend in your video that you tell viewers to like and subscribe. To get the viewers to subscribe, you need to put out good content. The more videos you have, the more likely you are to be noticed in the YouTube community of your hobby. So put out more videos, ask people to subscribe, and put out good content. How do I promote my videos? I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you feel the need to promote your content, do it by engaging with people of similar interest. This includes face-to-face, -face, uh, forums, blogs, social networks, other YouTube channels. Is it hard to reach the requirements for monetization? The answer is no, but for most people, it's not gonna happen overnight. Um, depending on the popularity or oversaturation or the type of content, it could be weeks, it could be years. Um, you know, it, it's really not something that you can put a day on. But is it hard to reach? No, it is time consuming. Can I be successful as a gaming channel? The answer is yes, but you cannot do it if your content is weak. And what I mean by weak is you upload, you know, a four or six or eight hour walkthrough of a game that 50 other people have uploaded the same video about. Um, you know, and there's thousands of videos going up every day for that game because it's a very popular game. You need to be creative. You need to find a way to do something in the game that others are not doing, or you need to find a way to do something better than other people are doing it. So yes, you can be successful as a gaming channel. Um, it's not easy though, and you have to be very creative. Should I delete my old videos? The answer is no, unless you are trying to or want to hide something. The old videos can still make money once the channel is monetized. And sometimes people use a creative avenue to do like a time lapse to show what they used to be and what they now are, or how far they've come or what their journey's been like or how they've improved. So I think that you should keep your old videos. You never know also in case something becomes popular, uh, it could skyrocket and become viral even though it is an old video. What is more important to get people to click on your video, the title or the thumbnail? I'm gonna go with thumbnail. Uh, lately, I think thumbnails have been the go-getters they're the eye catchers people don't read the title as much as they used to they're more likely to look for a thumbnail that pops uh, grabs attention clickbait you know it is what it is but thumbnails are what i believe to be the go-getters that draw people to your video so work on your thumbnails uh, get things that are easy to read clear legible and have a you know a sense of urgency or mystery to them that make people want to engage with them why are my views going down YouTube is not always going to push your videos. It happens to everyone. You may have a video that blows up and then your very next video may uh, greatly uh, depreciate from that video. Don't be discouraged. It could still pick back up later um, just because maybe it didn't do well at launch, but it happens. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. It happens to everyone. Should I make multiple channels for different hobbies or different content types and I think that question really is up to interpretation. And I think that depending on your channel size, 
you should or should not do that. Um, sometimes it could be poorly received if you have a very big channel and you throw in something completely unique and, you know, out of the blue. But also if you have a really small channel and you're just trying to find, you know, your, your groove or your, uh, your path, I think that it's totally acceptable to try different types of content uh, to see what's well received and what's not. And you can make the ultimate decision from there what you would like to post on your channel. Uh, is it better to make long or short videos when starting out? Is a question. You know, really, to answer that question, the video should be the length that you need to do whatever you're trying to do. Um, especially when starting out, right? So... I don't think you should try to draw out anything and, you know, make it a certain time length or to try to cut it and make it extremely short. Now, obviously, if you have a bunch of blank space or even when I just paused there for that thought process, um, you know, typically you'd want to edit those type of clips out just because they're more likely to have people click off during those times. But when this really starts to matter is when you've you know, reached monetization, you have a big channel and a lot of subscribers, you want to get the most out of your ad opportunity. And to do that right now on YouTube, it's basically making videos over 10 minutes long. That gives you three opportunities for ads. So when you're first starting out, just get your content out there, try to grow a fan base. But once you've grown and you've established yourself, come up with a 10 minute video, you know, how I could talk about my topic for 10 minutes or, or whatnot. Uh, I'm not doing that in this video. Obviously, I'm just trying to share with you these tips as quickly as possible to get you to subscribe to my channel. So once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Last but not least, as a bonus, basically, how do I get more likes and comments? Well, right here, right now, I'm doing it for you. So if I've liked and commented on your video, show me some love back and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.